as we are dealing about the introduction of the media for industrial fermentation this module is the third one so in the previous module as we have seen that uh, when we are talk about the medium on a laboratory scale as well as uh, the industrial scale so there is some problem regarding laboratory scale to the pilot scale and subsequently to the industrial scale just on the base of the medium selection so when we say that there will be a suitable medium so a laboratory medium may not be the ideal when we say that the same medium can be used on a large scale level due to the high viscosity so we can say that a laboratory medium may not be ideal in a large fermenter with the low gas transfer platform so a medium with the high viscosity will also need a higher power input for effective stirring beside meeting that fulfill all the requirement which is needed for the growth and the product formation but due to the high viscosity that there will be more input of the power so the power utilization is the negative point in that medium so there are other factor ph because the medium is basically that can also if effect have the influence over the ph of the medium then for foam formation oxidation reduction potential oxygen solubility and then other morphological forms of the organism because some media give some specific morphological form to the organisms so that's why so these are the different factors which directly or indirectly effect on the choice of the medium so it may be necessary to provide in some cases some precursors that is needed for the production of any specific product sometimes we have to add metabolic inhibitors in case of citric acid and in case of any other products sometimes that some kind of the inhibitors are needed so the medium will also effect on the recovery and the effluent treatment because as we know that we have to be very careful about uh, the effluent that is produced through the fermentation process so we have to treat that uh, before through into the ecosystem or the nature so we have to be very careful about that we have to throw that uh, waste into the environment by treating that which we call that proper effluent treatment as as we are already discussed about uh, defined and undefined medium so undefined medium is mostly consist consist upon complex natural materials that is mostly either produced or achieved or collected from agricultural adens, uh, industry or agricultural side that's mostly agricultural by products and some are industrial by products as an example we can see that uh, when we save out uh, agricultural by products they are wheat straw rice straw wheat bran soybean meal so many meals are available on other hand and when we say about uh, when we about industrial by product as cane industry sugar cane industry that is cane molasses or a beet molasses so the those which we called as undefined complex natural materials that is mostly the by products in other sense we can say they are the low value added products which we have to be value added by the fermentation process so that's why they are having a very low cost as compared to the defined substances defined having a pure uh, compounds 
So that's why we can use those component part and impurities in the fermentation process. So that can affect on uh, the sometimes when we use such products that can lead to some unpredictable biomass and then other uh, products. So as a consequence of these variations in the composition when we say that there is not a same uh, composition all the time then there is a variation in composition. So it is very difficult to detect a minor variation because as we know that there is uh, a difference in composition and that different uh, elemental composition from place to place due to the environmental conditions and sometimes when we use an agriculture byproducts when do there the nutrients supply to that uh, crop. So when we are uh, talking about that can also affect the product recovery and uh, effluent treatment process. So the residual component in this case that can also interfere with the recovery and ultimately that can affect on the biological oxygen demand of the effluent material that is produced through fermentation process. So thus through the manufacturers have been reluctant to use defined media just for this the cost effect because due to the more ex expensive the industrialists or the producers mostly avoid to use the defined medium. Otherwise, defined medium has so many positive factors. Just there is the cost is the major issue because that can also help to facilitate the product recovery, etc. So, undefined medium has their a positive factor just due to their inexpensive supply, but that can hinder on another uh, factors like as. Uh, we have already discussed in our previous slide about uh, that they can hinder in the effluent treatment process, product recovery process, etc. So, while selecting the medium, ultimately the cost and the requirement of the organism is very critical.